so in my in my life and uh, in my artistic work, I I have done a lot of sewing, textile work. I guess you would call it that. Um, uh, some people refer to these as button blankets. Some people refer to them as button button robes. Uh, some people refer to them as robes of power. Um, this blanket here uh, comes first, and um, our sister Nailene actually she graduated. It was for our sister Nailene, actually, and Nailene graduated from the engineering program at UBC, and she's the first um, Teltem woman to graduate from the engineering program there. And our mom was the one who said we should make her a button blanket. And I didn't know how to do this, uh, but mom wanted to do it. So mom found uh, some elders to help, and I also found some cultural people to help with this. Uh, and we sat together to sew this. Um, and my sister wore it at the indigenous graduation for, uh, for the indigenous graduates that year yeah, at UBC in the longhouse there. Uh, on Musque uh, UBC Musqueam territory. Um, this is based on uh, old school Teleton ancestor artist design. It's a beadwork design. And my sister is uh, our twins. So it was important to have the two crows here looking at each other, you know. And I wanted this um, to be absolutely one of the first things you see when you come into this space because uh, ev absolutely every button blanket that I made after this by myself has my mother's hands there you know we learned how to sew these buttons together you know and there were a lot of lessons there um, about having a good mind a good heart um, you know um, a focus uh, of mind on the person you're making it for, right? This um, needed to be here, and I needed to touch this blanket here. Uh, so in 2013, I was in, uh, invited to be uh, our, uh, uh, research fellow at Royal Holloway University um, and uh, by Dylan Robinson, uh, in particular and uh, one of the things I was able to do there was to make this button blanket you know um, on those territories uh, called London England you know and uh, I was specifically making it for our mom right and but I did a few uh, kind of actions performance art interventions uh, which I'm which I I've been calling cultural graffiti uh, in the blanket so that um, it would also have that history of that work. Um, one of the things that was a, a, like a design element, because uh, I was making it for my mom and I wanted my mom to um, be as powerful as possible, it was, um, I was, I put these little sp spikes here. And these little spikes, um, also come from uh, thinking about British, uh, that history of armor uh, in, uh, in that place, right? And they often have those spikes down their shoulders or, you know, so that they can like have another, you know, activate their body in a different way. Uh, also in particular, I was planning to use this blanket, activate this blanket, um, help this blanket to come alive in a performance called um, A Taliban Indian Declares War on the British Monarchy. Yeah, so I needed some armor. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I also uh, wore this blanket uh, at Princess Diana's memorial uh, in Hyde Park. Um, and the reason why I was at Princess Diana's uh, memorial um, was because my mom loved her. Yeah, and I know that if she was there with me in London, England, she would want to go to Princess Diana's memorial. So um, we'll talk more about that.